How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Oh, so good to be back in this room. Yeah, had a little while there because of certain things going on. I could just not record this room. I could not get this room. This is the main thoroughfare of the home. You have to come through this room to get to almost anywhere in the house. So I used to film a certain night a week because everybody else lived here went out to eat that night. I'd stay home and film. Well, didn't happen for quite a while because of shit going on. So, but I'm back. And this is Adventure Heroes, Legendary Characters from Odysseus to James Bond by Jeff Rovin. Seal of Quality from Super Comics. What this is, this is back in the day before we had Wiki and all this shit, you know. You needed reference books like this. Back when, you know, every home, you know, that's how I could tell a home where the people really kind of cared about education. You went to somebody's house and their parents had an encyclopedia sitting around somewhere. Can't tell that anymore. You know, that's the way to tell because the encyclopedias were not cheap and there's a lot of books and they took up a lot of room. But, you know, if you didn't want to have to constantly go to the fucking library, especially if you lived out in the damn country like I did, the nearest library was like 35 minutes away. So you had reference books. I love reference books. I found this because I heard about Jeff Rove and he wrote a bunch of like Nintendo like tips and tricks books back in the day. That's where I knew the name. But I found this is an ex-library copy, um, as you can see. Got this off Amazon, eBay, one of those. And it just, it's just it's just some of the characters they include in this, like Detected Steve McGarrett. Yeah, the Y Five O guy, the Doll Squad, Friday Fa Foster, Honey West, Mad Max, Napoleon Solo, and Elanya Kuryakin, I'm guessing. Tom Sawyer, Virgil Tibbs. It's just any non kind of powered hero. Let's see. They got a description. This is a great fucking book. It's from 1994, so it's old, old, old. The first adventurer was almost certainly the cave dweller who single-handedly slew a saber-toothed tiger or saved the tribe from destruction. Told every told, painted on cave walls, these exploits were probably refined or expanded until they reached a legend level of local legend. Many of civilization's earliest adventure heroes achieved their status thanks to a helpful poet, minstrel, or playwright. Through people such as Beowulf, Giglamesh, and Jason may well have lived their real-life deeds may well have lived, their real life deeds were but a shadow of the achievements, song, and lore ascribed to them. And as it explains, you know, what this is, not super, H. Drum and Admiral, F Admiral Fudge, never heard of that one. Voice at the bottom of the sea, okay, yeah, uh, Admiral Her Harriman Nelson. Aladdin, see, there's all kinds, these, and I like, because now, thanks to the internet, people think all this information is on the internet. It is, but it's not in one area. Like, I can't just type in the title of this book and get this popped up, you know what I'm saying? I could probably go find a scan of it. But I like having this. I love references. I really do. Uh, once, the ass hat. I don't know why I'm going to call it the den of knowledge. The cave of consumer goods. I don't know. I'm going to come up with a name for it. But once it is finished, and I have my shelf set up right and everything, I'm going to do a tour, and you will see a pile of reference books on one shelf. Like, a stack on probably, like... A shelf and a half full, and it's all going to be these nice big hardcovers because libraries are getting rid of books, which sucks, but it helps me. Alien Legion, the fucking Alien Legion. That is a great comic everybody should read. It's a Marvel, like kind of like far French Foreign Legion in space thing. Angus MacGyver, fucking MacGyver's in here. Anthro, the caveman from DCC, just all kind of, and there's Anthro. The Aquanauts, Atari Force. The fucking, the girl from Danger, uh, from Uncle. The Avengers, uh, John Steed. Barbarella, Barnaby Jones, Banyan, Beretta, I mean, Baron Munch has a Batlash, oh, my mom. Sergio Aragon has created Batlash, he's kind of like a comedy cowboy, did he, okay, Nick Cardi Jr. was like, I didn't think Sergio Aragon has wrote him, but look, good information, like, okay, I'll just read you the Batlash one, okay. The C means for comics, Bell's literature and motion pictures. First period, Showcase 76, 1968, DC Comics. Okay, it gives you a lot of information right there. Biography. Bartholomew Aloysius Lash lives on a farm with parents Lemuel and Lemuel, I'm guessing, and Martha Lash and a sibling Thomas and sibling Thomas William and Melissa in the and siblings Thomas William and Melissa in the late 1800s. While his parents are cheated out of their home and forced to live in the shack, Bart Bat seeks justice. He finds instead corruption and apathy. Forced to shoot a lawless deputy in self-defense, he returns to his family shed only find it burning, his parents dead. Hunted by the law for having killed the deputy, Bat takes his sister and girlfriend Betsy to a convent, then roams the southwest one step ahead of the law. 
destined always to be a fugitive. The friendly loner survives by gambling and by talking his way out of most scrapes. Though, when he has to fight, he's a quick draw and an expert marksman. Well, that's a good little... And like, hey, that character sounds interesting. Good, get you interested in him. Comment! Bat went on to start in seven issues of his own title and popped up in other DC titles from time to time. The character's adventures were written by cartoonist Sergio Aragones of Madden Groove fame and drawn by Nick Cardi, who... Nick Cardi is known for... Without overly sexualizing them, he can draw some of the most gorgeous women in comics. He's like Matt Baker. But Matt Baker sexualized them a little bit more than Nick Cardi did. I'm trying to think what Nick... Nick Cardi did like some Aquaman. I think he did some Teen Titans. But yeah, that's the kind of information you're getting. It's just a great black pirate. Billy West, not the... Billy Jack! Fucking Billy Jack's in this. Black Star. That's when I flipped. I was like, oh, motherfucker, has got Black Star. That's where He-Man was ripped off of. Just, no, like I said, just all kinds of great, great... The Bravados, is that... That's a Skywall comic. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Boston Blackie. Brenda Starr, Brett Maverick. Just see, a lot of cowboys, Buck Rogers. Now that is, if that's the, okay, that's the TV. I'm actually watching this right now with Gil Gerard and Aaron Gray. Great show. It's cheesy, but it's great. Oh, I saw Buzz Sawyer. I thought it was the wrestler. And this is a comic strip, literature, and comics character. Cagney and Lacey. You know, they just, just, I'm going to just kind of flip a little bit while I look for a picture. Captain James C. Kirk. Uh, John Luke Picard, John Braddock, Braddock from Racket Squad. Y'all remember Racket Squad? And yes, Captain Cronus. Yes, it is kind of English bias. You know, characters appear you know, from a country that speaks English as a first language. They have more of a chance appearing here. Captain N and the Game Master. Captain Thunder. That's not the Captain Thunder I know of. Captain Victory from uh, Jack Kirby. I just did some stuff about Kirby characters recently. What is this? Carter Primus. What the fuck? Okay, Carter Promise, TV, literature, and comics. Promise, 1971 syndicated. Biography, based on their floating home in Sea Lab, Orca, which incorporates design aspects of a hydrofoil and hovercraft, oceanographer Carter Primus is an underwater troubleshooter for hire who travels the world as needed, working for individuals, searching for missing persons or sunken treasure, or the government testing new equipment or exploring uncharted areas under the waves. In addition to a sea slit, ships. Sea sled, which he uses for local hops, Promise boards his miniature submarine Pegasus for deep voyages and sends the robot explorer Big Cake to handle dangerous jobs. His assistant is Tony, his assistant is Tony Hayden. His sidekick is Charlie Kingman. There, there he is. Comments. Ivan Toys Flipper produced 26 half-hour adventures starring Robert Brown as Promise, Will Culliva, Culliva, yeah, Culliva is Charlie, and Eva Renzi is Tony. Bantham published a novel, Promise, by Bradford Street in 1971, and Charlton published seven issues of a Promise comic in 1972. See, also Mike Nelson. The Cartwrights from Bananas. I, that Promise sounds interesting. Challengers of the Unknown. Charlie Chan. I love Charlie Chan. I'm getting more and more into Charlie Chan. Christy Love. Cisco Kid. Like I said, just so much great stuff in this book. I, honestly, back in the day, the people I knew who had a couple of things like this were, um, well, you just called them Dungeon Masters back then. People that ran our, uh, tabletop RPG games, and they used these books to, like, flesh out background characters. Like, I had a friend who ran a... Shit, what was the tabletop RPG before Rifts that incorporated, like, everything? It wasn't GURPS. Well, it, it ran on the GURPS system, I think, but it wasn't Rifts. But, like, you could have westerns and barbarians and, like, a little bit of everything. We ran a campaign, Captain Benjamin Sisko, and he used books like this to fill out Cool McCool. Fill out stuff. Corsair. You know, it was Creature Commandos. Crime Doctor. You know, it was just really cool stuff. Uh, Crockett and Tubbs. Where the fuck did I just miss them? Cro yeah, Crockett and Tubbs. Miami Vice is in here. <laughs> Daredevils of the Red Circle. Oh, that is a great picture of the Dead End Kids, the East Side Kids with us. That Be that's Bella. Yeah, that's Bella in the middle. Dax, the Barbarian from, um... Hey, man, Warren was smart. Barbarians were hot. They got into it. But, yeah, these, I love these. Demons. These are also, and I use this term all the time, people, I know some people are grossed out by them. I don't know what I'm saying. Toilet, bathroom reading. You lay one of these books on the back of the NAM, 
hamper you got in your bathroom, you put your towels and shit in, you know. You get up in the morning, you're trying to wake up, you, know, you have your morning constitutional layers, you know, some people got a cup of coffee with them, some of y'all got a cigarette. I got a book. I got that book, I'm like, uh, okay, I'm going to read about the Doll Squad, Don, and Don Will Winslow. If it's one of the days where, you know, I might have to take some Metamucil out, you know, to make sure this happens, I might be reading Dorothy Gale. And, oh well, yeah, Dorothy Gale would be a good one. You know, just read a couple of entries. The Dukes from Dukes Hazard, Dudley Do-Right. Just talk about the Dudley Do-Right movie with somebody there and I, about how nobody seems to remember that. Like, George of the Jungles barely remember the movie. Oh, man, look at that. Or, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Holy shit, that is mad. Look. That's Eagle from The Rook. Huh. The last three issues, I got the last issue. I'm... I don't know if I've done a video on my issue of The Rook. Anybody watching this that knows, if you do know, say something in the comments. I know I could look, I just haven't done it. Ellen Ripley from Alien, Ellery Queen. Enemy Ace, such a great series. The Equalizer. The Falcon, just... I'm gonna start flipping a little faster because this is gonna go on like 30 minutes if I don't. Fletch. Just a really, really good source of info that all the Galaxy Rangers. I used to love watching that show. George of the Jungle. Just mentioned George. Oh. Gita. Anybody else remember Gita of Alazar? From 1984, the Warren publication, the magazine 1984 came out in 1979. He was like, you know, Red Sonia. If Red Sonia didn't have to obey the comics code, fucking Grim Jack. Oh, yeah. Fucking Grim. Oh, I love Grim Jack. Uh, Hagger? Another eerie publication. Hardcastle. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hardcastle and McCormick, 1983. A show I would never have remembered. I saw as a kid and forgot all about it. And then the car from it, the, the car that was like really fancy in it. Buddy Miles in the service with. I'm just going to call yourself Callaway, sir, because that's your name. I ain't going to say your first name. He lived over in Alabama. I came to pick him up. He was coming to hang out for the weekend with a bunch of us. I went to go pick him up, and he's like, hold on, I want to show you something. He goes, see that car? I'm like, yeah. He goes, what do you know from him? I was like, oh. He goes, it's the same car as in Hardcastle McCormick, motherfucker. And I'm like, oh, shit, fucking hard. I forgot all about Hardcastle McCormick. The Hardy Boys. Yeah, not the wrestlers. The... I wonder if the wrestling Hardy Boys are better known than the detective Hardy Boys nowadays. I, I, I'm gonna, I have to run an informal poll and see. Horatio Hornblower Hunter. No, that's not the Hunter from TV. I thought it was, you know, Hunter with a. Oh God, what was that woman's name? Whew. Can't remember her name now. Uh, Fred Dwyer and the Brunette. I cannot think. Inch High Private Eye, Indiana Jones, Iron Ace, Iron Wolf. Um, James T. West from Wild Wild West. I know uh, Back Thirty Two. Who you'll usually find here on Saturdays reviewing comics. A huge, huge uh, Wild Wild West fan. He loves him some horses. I like how some of this shit I didn't even know had comics. Has comics. It's like, oh, John Carter, another great character. John Drake, uh, Danger Man. Possibly the same character that the guy played in The Prisoner. Johnny Dynamite. John Rambo. Just recently. Oh, Jonah fucking Hex. Look at that. Okay, if all you know about Jonah Hex is that movie that came out a few years ago. Ignore that. He appeared two to three times total between Batman the Animated Series and like Justice League Unlimited. Those are worth seeing. And then go track down. Any of the stuff from the 70s into the very early 80s is worth reading. And the stuff from Vertigo is worth reading. It's great Western. Even if you're not into Westerns, Jonah Hex is really good. That movie was just an horrible. A friend of mine was... One of the people leading up the reenactors in the film, they hired out a local like Civil War reenactment group to be extras. A friend of mine was the guy in charge of him because he lives down in the area. They filmed that in like South Louisiana, from what I remember. And he warned us like a year before the movie came out. Like they just wrapped up and he's like, Man, this movie's gonna be horrible, don't waste your money. He's like, it's so bad. And this ten many years ago it was too. Back then, you know, eh, fuck, I'll just Netflix that movie, which meant you know, you told Netflix, hey, send me this disc. He's like, it ain't even worth Netflixing. The next year at the con at his panel, I stood up and told him, man, that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. You're right, it wasn't even worth Netflixing. He just laughed at me and goes, ladies and gentlemen, here's an idiot. <laughs> he was right. He warned me and I still watch it. Johnny fucking Quest. I, John Shaft. I love Jonah Hex. And I'm not a Western person, but I love Jonah Hex. Conga, Kamandi. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. Karate Commandos, yes. On this, if you go back a couple, um, you go back on this channel, there is a review of Karate Commandos issue two. Chuck Norris. Oh, fucking Kill Raven. Kill Raven is so good. Kojak. Link from Zelda. Okay, that's kind of cool. The Thundercast Lino. Little Orphan Annie. Well, she had adventures. Okay, Logan from Logan's Run. I had a look. I didn't know. Yeah. The Losers. Losers are so great. And the, you know what? The movie was not bad. Lucky Coin. Oh, my God. Okay. This character, Lucky Coin. Who I've seen for years and years, and I never realized the pun in the name until now. So I don't think I've ever said it out loud. Lucky. I got to read this shit. Okay. Lucky Coin Comics. First appearance. Dynamic Comics. Issue 1. 1941. Harry A. Chesler Comics. Okay. That will probably be available for free at any of the comic book hosting sites that host public domain comics. Lucky Coin is a detective with a twist. He makes key decisions by flipping a coin. If the coin falls on heads, he goes ahead with it, something. Takes the case, enters a dark room, ETC. Tails, he does not. The privatized two-fisted pal assistant is Terry. Lucky usually dresses in a bright red business suit, is a crack shot, impressive athlete, and possesses a steel grip. Comment. Lucky appeared throughout the 25-issue run of Dynamic Comics. Two adventures were reprinted in Israel Waldman's Daring Adventures in 1963 and 1964. Lucky Luke. Lucky Luke is not really well known in the States, but he's a very popular, like, cowboy character overseas. I think he's French. I think he's part of that, like, uh, Bede Franco-Belgian comics thing. Mac Bolan. Magnus Robot Fighter. Oh, such great covers. <laughs> Fucking Mark Hazard Mark. <laughs> this is how, how deep they dug. They dug up Mark Hazard Mark. Do y'all remember this shit? New Universe. <laughs> oh, man. Mars Patrol. Mars Patrol is actually pretty fucking good, man. <laughs> Matt Dillon, of course, from Gunsmoke. Matt Houston from his TV show. Michael Knight from Knight Rider. Michael Shane, not the wrestler. Mike Nelson, no, Sea Hunt, not. <laughs> Mystery Sunset, oh, Mod Squad. Mod Squad's the shit. Modesty Blaze. Mystery. Great, great series. If you ever find any issues, grab them. Now, try to find issues close together because most of the stories went through more than one issue, so you want, you want to get all of it. I need to see if Mystery's up. Nathaniel Dusk, another great, like, um, like kind of cop drama from, um, 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 Gene Colon, sorry. Natty Bumpo. Just like the name. Your yeah, mama's a Natty Bumpo. Nick and Nora Charles from The Thin Man. Books, motion pictures, radio, TV. I don't know what S is. I didn't know there was a TV show. I love I never would have watched The Thin Man. And then back in the day when I first moved out to Texas, my first friends I made when I moved out there, just call him Hippie Mike, RIP, sir. Uh I go by and hang out at his place about one night a week after work. We hang out, watch a couple movies. And he had rented the Thin Man movies. Like, man, what the fuck is this shit? The Thin Man. Dude, I fell in love with those movies. Those movies are really good. Uh, the drunken I always call him the drunken detective and his hot ass wife. Because Myrna Lloyd just, Jesus Christ, woman is gorgeous. And then uh, William Powell, I think was the Thin Man. He was always drunk. Like, always drunk. Officer Frank Poncharello. Yeah, Ponch from fucking Chips. Paul, Alt Paul Altrades from Dune. Yeah, see, just see the shit they... Yeah. Penelope Pit Stop. Yeah. Just, uh, like I said, just blows my mind. The Rawhide Kid. You know, the characters, Remington Steel, Richard Dragon. And some of these have come back and become bigger. Like, Richard Dragon's probably better known now than he was when his comic was coming out. But when this came out, fuck no, Rip Hunter. Rip Hunter Time Master? Yeah, now comic fans know him, but... 94? No, I knew the fuck. The Rook? Oh, I wish the Rook would come back. Rook was great. Rowdy Yates from Rawhide. The Saint. Those are on one of the channels we get on satellite. Like the old, old... I guess it's the show. Savage, the uh, Gil Kane attempt at a... Um, kind of attempted a uh, graphic novel. It was a magazine? Yeah, it was a magazine and Fantagraphs reprinted in 82. The Sea Devils. Uh, Senorita Rio. Great, great. Is that the one? Da, 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 da. 
thinking this is the one that Matt Baker did the art on. It was one of these. It was uh, some Hispanic, like, secret agent. Great fucking amazing art. Sergeant Rock. Another great series. Just got the art. S Sergeant Striker's Death Squad, really? Zeke Anderson from Tour of Duty. Fuck yeah. You ever seen Tour of Duty? That was on Grit for a while. Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu. Getting a movie, man. Shang-Chi. Sherlock Holmes, of course. Old Man of the Sea and Sinbad. The Sun Devils. Like, I'm, I know this is going really long. Tintin. Tor. Vengeance Squad. Um, the Viking Prince. Uh, that was... The Rook. Okay, I was thinking of something else. I was thinking that was like one of the DC things. The Wild Bunch. From Hellrider from Skywall. Oh, sweet. I gotta read that shit. I got that. Yang. Oh, man. I wish somebody would do these Yang uh, Charlton's from the 70s. So love to get a hold of this. I remember reading it as a kid a little bit. But, you know. Yeah. Fucking great ass book. Yeah. Yeah. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, tell me who your favorite adventure hero is. Is there somebody that I flipped right by you? Like, motherfucker, you didn't mention, you know, T.J. Hooker. Or, you know, you didn't mention Alan Quartermain. Or, you know, I don't know. Walter Paisley. I don't fucking know. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give me that like. Leave a comment. Any kind of comment helps. You know, tell me, hey, Newt, you're a fucking moron. I don't care. Put it up there. All right, latest.